I asked him, what's it like to be a FedEx pilot? He laughed at me. I easily clear 400,000 a year, and I work about one week a month flying around the world. Have you ever dreamed about building a career as a cargo pilot and thought to yourself, maybe one day I can work for FedEx? Hey, well you can. In this video, I'm gonna share with you part two of how you can become a FedEx cargo pilot right here on Commercial Pilot in Command. My name is Seth and I'm a commercial pilot and I've been building my aviation career since 2005. Hey, if you watch the entire video at the end, I'm going to tell you about a very, very fascinating conversation that I had with a FedEx pilot about his trip he took around the world in one week. In the first video, I talked about the entire process to get on board with a FedEx feeder and how to get qualified to fly directly with FedEx. If you missed that video, you'll definitely want to watch it first. Click on the pop-up on screen for that link. All right, we're going to be talking about FedEx's Purple Runway Program. Never heard of the Purple Runway Program? You're in the right place. The benefit of the Purple Runway Program is that it's the feeder that will set you up with an interview with FedEx. The cargo feeder that you get hired with is going to transfer you over to FedEx. You'll go through a process and if you're accepted, then you're a FedEx cargo pilot. All right, so when does this happen? So six months after you're employed with the cargo feeder, you can apply for the program. You will then take some personality tests and then you'll go to a summit in Memphis to get introduced to FedEx. And after this, it's all about time building. You're gonna gain as much experience as you possibly can learning the ropes of cargo. One of the things is you gotta be sharp, you gotta be on it, you gotta have your IFR skills top notch because you cannot fail any training or recurrent training if you wanna be a FedEx pilot. FedEx has some very high standards, but it's a good thing. Hey, as a pilot, I'm guessing you and I have two things in common. First, you're probably getting up ridiculously early to fly in the best and smoothest air. And second, while on your drive to the airport, you're really not looking forward to the bitter and burnt coffee served at the counter that tastes like it came from the fuel truck. Recently, I've discovered a handcrafted coffee subscription service called Beanbox that lets me try out different flavors of coffee before buying. With my special affiliate link in the description below, you can sample this artisan blend drip coffee by only paying a small amount for shipping. As you get up to build your flight hours, this coffee is not only going to awaken your senses by tasting fantastic, like it should, but will also give you the boost to start those engines and get you off the ground fully alert. Start your trip with a delicate sip of Bean Box Coffee. Once you hit the 500 hour PIC milestone, then you're gonna start training at Flight Safety in St. Louis. You're gonna spend 36 months working and flying for that cargo feeder before you get hired at FedEx. All right, just to quickly go over the qualifications. You're gonna need to be flying as a pilot for Mountain Air Cargo or Empire Airlines for at least six months. You need a first class medical. You gotta have stable employment. You need a two year degree or a four year degree with the 2.5 or higher GPA from a university. This needs to be your first time applying to FedEx. And then of course you need some authorization as well. And that's it, once you're ready, the cargo feeder is gonna basically walk you into your interview and hand you over to FedEx and FedEx is gonna take it from there. There's a pretty high chance that if the cargo feeder hands you over to FedEx and sets you up for your interview, that you're going to get that job. It is a very, very, very good thing that you have that path into FedEx. They are going to put you at a new level. It's kind of like being an insider. They'll give you a better opportunity than if you were to try to apply on your own or if you've got a scholarship or if you tried some other way to get into FedEx. This is the way to do it, the Purple Runway Program. Every hour that you put in your logbook is another step towards achieving your dreams. I'd like to encourage you to join the journey and share this channel with a pilot that you really care about. All right, if you made it this far, I just wanna thank you and I am going to deliver what I promised. Let me tell you about a cool and interesting conversation that I had with a FedEx captain not that long ago. 
So one day I was out working on the line waiting for our cargo bin to arrive. So I struck up a conversation with a FedEx pilot who was just kind of passing through. And I asked him a couple questions. I asked him, hey, how much money do you make? And what kind of car do you drive? And what's it like to be a FedEx pilot? He laughed at me and he pointed towards the parking lot and said, you see that yellow Lamborghini? Yeah, that's what I drove to work. Me being totally astonished by that, he continued, I easily clear 400,000 a year and I work about one week a month flying around the world. He just previously completed a trip flying from Denver to New York, then to London, then to India, then to Japan, then to LA, and then back to Denver, all in one week. I responded with, wow, that's a ton of time in the air. Man, that's gotta get uncomfortable after a while. His response is something I'll never forget. He said, well, yeah, but after takeoff, as soon as we hit cruise, my first officer and I, we take turns changing into PJs. And then one of us sleeps and the other one flies and then we switch. And of course, before we descend, we get out of our PJs and get back in uniform. He said, I don't wanna be caught dead walking on the ramp in pajamas, let me tell you that. Hey, are you having kind of a hard time getting into the commercial pilot realm? Are you looking for some answers in regards to how you can actually get an interview? I've got a video that talks about my top three tips to help you land pilot interviews in less time right here. So click on that, go watch that next, and fly that airplane to the finish every single time.